if you comment down your email ID and like this video, I will share the free guesstimate ebook having questions from different industries. So comment quickly. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This video is part of our guesstimate series. If you haven't checked out other questions, please check it out. Also, this question I picked from the comment section. You can also comment down the questions which you want me to cover in the next video. So let's get started. Today's question is to estimate the number of iPhones sold. So I am giving you 5 seconds so that you can think about the question and have some initial approach ready. I hope you already have an approach ready to tackle this question. So let's see how we can go about this. First, let's start with the clarifying question. The very first question which we can ask is about the geography. Which geography are we considering here? Basically, are we thinking about the sale of iPhone globally or any specific country? Let's assume that we are considering India. That means we are thinking about the iPhone sales in India. The second question which we can ask is about the time frame. In what time frame are we thinking about the sale of iPhone? Is it daily sale, monthly sale or annual sale? Let's assume that we are thinking about the yearly sale of iPhone. The third question which we can ask is about the type of iPhone. If we are considering a specific type of iPhone like latest iPhone or a later version can also work here. Let's assume that we are not bounded by any such constraint. We are thinking about all type of iPhone. I think this is it. If you think we could have asked other clarifying question as well, please do comment in the comment section which will help other people to learn from this. So comment below. So now it is time to form the goal of the problem. The goal of the problem is to estimate the yearly sale of iPhone in India. Right. So now let's get started with the high level equation and the walkthrough of the solution. So we need to estimate the number of iPhones sold in India in one year. Let's start with the Indian population. Then we will go ahead dividing the Indian population into urban population and rural population. We will assume that the rural population will not be buying an iPhone and will focus on the urban population. After that, we need to further drill down the urban population. We will be assuming that the people who are greater than 50 and less than 60 would be having in potential access to mobile phones. So we will take out the fraction of urban people who are between in the age 15 and 60. These are people who will have potential access to mobile phones. But to get the iPhone sale, we need to further bifurcate them into upper class, upper middle class, lower middle class and lower class. Then we will be assuming that the people in the lower class and lower middle class will not be buying an iPhone. And a fraction of upper and upper middle class will be buying an iPhone as there are a lot of other competitors as well like Samsung and OnePlus. Once we take out the fraction of upper and the upper middle class who would be buying an iPhone, we would sum it up and get the total number of iPhones. But here there is a catch. We also need to consider the lifetime value of the iPhone. Or let's assume that people change their phones in 3 years. So we need to divide it by 3 to get the yearly sale of iPhone in India. Right? I hope you are very clear with this approach. Let's start putting those numbers. Indian population is around 1.4 billion. Let's assume that 30% of the population belong to urban areas and 70% of the population belong to rural areas. So this will give you around 400 million people in urban areas and 1000 million people in the rural areas. Before proceeding ahead, I am reminding you to comment your email ID and like this video if you want to get the access to that ebook. Containing a lot of estimates from different industries. So comment below. Back to the question. As we got urban population and rural population, we will focus on the urban population because we are assuming that people in the rural area won't be buying an iPhone. So how to calculate the people between age 15 to 60? For that, let's assume that people in general live between 0 to 80 age and they are uniformly distributed between this. That means the number of people between age 10 to 20 would be same as the number of people between 20 to 30 because we assume that they are uniformly distributed. So the number of urban people between 15 to 60 would be 60 minus 15 that is 45 divided by 80 and multiplied by 400 million. That will give you around 225 million urban people between age of 15 to 60. Now we need to bifurcate them into upper class, upper middle class, lower middle class and lower class. Let's assume that 10% of the people belong to upper class. That will give you around 22.5 million people but I am rounding this off to 23 million people. Similarly, let's assume that 20% of the people belong to upper middle class that will give you around 45 million people. 30% belong to lower middle class that will give you around 67 million people. And this 40% belong to lower class that will give you around 90 million people in lower class. But not all the 23 million people that belong to upper class will buy an iPhone, right? Because there are other players as well like Samsung, OnePlus. 
So let's assume that 40% of the people from the upper class in urban areas will buy an iPhone. That will give you around 9.1 million people buying iPhone in upper class in urban areas. Similarly, let's assume that 20% of the upper middle class will buy an iPhone. That will give you around 9 million. And the rest, lower middle class and the lower class won't be buying an iPhone. So adding both will give you around 18.2 million iPhones in India. So here we need to divide it by 3 because let's assume that the average lifetime of an iPhone would be 3 years. So we will be left with 18 divided by 3 that will give you around 6 million iPhones that are being sold in India every year. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have any doubt, please comment below and I will try to answer your queries. Till then, keep learning and keep watching.